sometimes all you need is someone to tell you that you can do it, someone to believe in you. I always think that the most important person that needs to believe in you is yourself, but sometimes it helps to have someone else just say, hey, you got this, you can do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with enjoying that feeling when someone tells you, good job, you can do this. I wanted to make this video because I received an email from a person and the email is very real. And I guess it's real in the sense that it actually reminds me of myself. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps now. <laughs> it reminds me of myself. So I'm gonna start this, this video by reading the email very carefully and then doing my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. Now this person's story isn't exactly like mine, but it, it's quite similar, it's very, very similar. All right, I'm gonna read it. The subject is returning to math. Hello, I am a student finishing my first semester in college. This wouldn't seem like anything interesting, but my history with math is very complicated. When I graduated high school, I was in credit recovery because my freshman year was the last year of math I ever tried. This isn't an exaggeration. I simply stopped attempting math at that point. I hated it so much. After graduating high school, I never thought about math again. Well, now after a few years, I have returned to school to seek a better life for my wife and I to have a better future. While I had to take a placement exam and my math score was so low, I was barely accepted into remedial math. <laughs> so, been there. Well, I simply couldn't accept not passing math and decided to apply myself this time around. Now I'm wrapping up this semester with an A in intermediate algebra and looking forward to studying math. I even find my other classes boring compared to learning this subject for what it feels like the first time. This is where we get to the part that drove me to message you. I will be transferring to a university next fall and want to study mathematics with a concentration in teaching. I found a true passion for the subject and want to help students like myself see the real beauty in the subject. I reach out because I am dealing with what I guess you would call imposter syndrome. I have been told and told myself I wasn't just born a math person for so long that I keep doubting I could ever do it. I have the desire, but I am doubting my ability. So my question is, do you really think anyone with study and practice can be a math person? Or am I dreaming too big? Your videos have helped me tremendously and have motivated me as I go down this new path. Thanks for sharing your passion with us. Wow, what a, what a great message, so real. Well, first let me say thank you for your message. This was a great message. I can relate. I also was not good in high school and I started late and I also started with remedial math. I did not have the dream to be a math person though. Right? I was gonna do computer science and then I ended up switching. So I have a couple things to say you know, about, about your message. First of all, yes, you can do it, obviously. You know, believe in yourself, you got this, you can do it. Go for it. The fact that you already got an A in intermediate algebra, the fact you've done that, I think is huge. And I think you're gonna do good. One thing that I did, and this is something you could do, I'm gonna give you some strategies that helped me was the following. Before I transferred schools, because you said you're transferring, uh, I used to work at a tutoring center. And I remember that some of the other tutors there had already transferred. And they would tell me stories about this class called discrete mathematics, right? They would tell me stories about the hard math classes at the other school. And so before I transferred, uh, I had this, this thing in my mind where I thought that university level math was insane. So when I transferred, not only did I work harder, but my grades went up, which is, which is the opposite of what most people do. So people will probably tell you, and you've probably heard this, oh, when you transfer to a major university, it's gonna be harder, and you, know, you don't do as well. And typically, 
typically, I think students don't do as well when they transfer, right? Because it does get harder, right? But my experience was the opposite, and it's because I basically took my motivation and doubled it, right? I told myself, this was my life, and I'm not going to fail. And I think that you already have that attitude, you just don't realize it. Think about what you said in your email. I'm going to repeat it here so everyone can hear it. You said, well, now after years, I have returned to school to seek a better life for my wife and to have a better future. I think that needs to be said. I think that, sure, math is great, and we all love proving things and figuring out cool integrals, and people love math for different reasons, but at the end of the day, we all have to live in this world, and it's not free, right? We have to eat, and it's nice to have pizza every once in a while, so you have to make money. In order to do that, having a degree helps. And at the end of the day, most people who go to college are there because they're trying to improve their lives. I mean, that's why I went to college. I got tired of working the same terrible jobs. I mean, terrible jobs, horrible, horrible bosses, just not fun, not fun people, you know? I've had some good ones, but I also had some bad ones, right? And usually when you get a degree, you still might have some terrible jobs, but at least they pay a little bit more. So keep in mind that this is your second chance, right? You're, you're starting late, you are married, you have a family, you want a better life, and I think that is going to keep you going. As far as your abilities, you got it. I mean, you got an A in intermediate algebra after being out of school for years, okay, for years. I think it's going to be fine. But you have to believe in yourself. You have to not doubt your ability. Don't listen to the fear-mongering that you will get. You will get it from teachers, perhaps, maybe not on purpose. Get it from your classmates, maybe they just do it for fun, not on purpose, it's not malicious, but there is a lot of fear-mongering when it comes to math. There is a lot of negativity, right? And you kind of have to feel off that. You have to say, oh, that class is really hard? Oh, only 20% of the students pass the class? Well, I'm not just gonna pass the class, I'm gonna be number one. So that's my second piece of advice. So try to be the best, not just get a good grade. If you try to be number one in all of your classes, you are going to do well, okay? And, and the reason you should try to be the best is, I mean, there's different reasons. One reason you could use is to try to beat everyone else, but that's not really the reason you should be the best, I think. For me, when I tried to be the best in my classes, it's because I would tell myself, this is it. Just like you, right? Just like you, this is it, this is your life. This is your one shot at making it happen. Do you wanna ruin that? I mean, realize how hard it is to go back to school, especially once you have a job and a family. It's hard. It's incredibly hard to work and go to school. You're doing it now. Keep the momentum going. This is your one shot. Don't mess it up. You can do it. I mean, you've proved it, right? You've already gotten a good grade. You've already done it, and you have a solid reason for going back to school to change your life. And I think when people realize that, it keeps them going. I think a lot of people don't realize that, and it could be because in your situation, you, you, you went to high school, you didn't think about math, and then some time passed and you returned. So you have a superpower. You have the advantage of being out in the real world for a couple of years and seeing how hard it is to make it in this world. I think when you do that and you return to school after working, you have a very different perspective, okay? I'm not saying if you go to high school then you go to college, that's bad. No, that's good. That, that's probably a better route, right? I wish I would have finished high school and gone straight to college, but I didn't. Do I regret it? No, because I feel like that experience I got from being in the pits from you know, working at gas stations, and I was a security guard for a while. I mean, I got to work all kinds of jobs, meet all kinds of people from all walks of life, and then I went back to academia and realized, that, hey, academia is pretty good, math is pretty good, and I was good at it, and I pursued it. This is your chance, right? And you have that strength. I have a friend who, who recently got into a PhD program at a very, very good school. I'll, I'll leave the name out of it because well, there's not that many students who got into the school, probably. Uh, yeah, maybe he doesn't want me to talk about him. Or maybe he does. In any case, he's brilliant. 
He recently got into a PhD program, but he got his bachelor's years ago. He worked as an engineer at a couple different jobs, and he was in the pits. He saw what it was like to be an engineer. He saw how hard it was. He saw what it was like to work with people and deal with conflict, and he saw how the world works. And he went back for his PhD because he wanted to go back to academia. And he has that real world experience. So he knows how hard it is to make it in this world. And that gives him extra power. That gives him a superpower in college. He works extra hard. I think he works harder than his classmates. I really do. Because he has that drive. And I think you have that drive as well. You did terrible in high school. You had that time off. Now you're back. You're trying to improve your life. That right there, my friend, is going to make it happen. So yeah, I don't think you're an imposter. I think you can do it. What do you all think? Do you have any advice for this person who is returning to school and trying to better their lives? Do you have a similar story? If you do, leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it helps people who read the comments. If you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use my links, which can be found in the description of any of my videos or on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. I've got courses on calculus, algebra, differential equations, abstract algebra, advanced calculus, etc. The key takeaway from this video is that it's not so much about math, it's about really having a goal. You know, this person clearly has talent, they have goals, they're just a little bit nervous, and I think they're going to be okay. I really think this person is going to rock it because they have that one goal to seek a better life for themselves and for his wife. When you realize that, when you realize how important it is to succeed in college, when you take it seriously, you will do better. Take it seriously. Those are the words that one of my teachers once told us. And he was right. You have to take it seriously. It will make a difference. As always, Keep doing mathematics.